Brooklyn. You already know who I'm standing with. Brooklyn fights, man. You already. Lou DeBella. Brooklyn's in the house. The greatest promoter in the world. How you feeling, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. <laughs> I'm looking forward to a fun fight on Saturday. Yeah. Um, yesterday I called, you know, I called in for the media call. And uh, I asked you that question about Drake. <laughs> Drake, stay away from my fighters, baby. I love you. I love you. Stay away from my fighters. Yeah, people, Drake. Really, people really believe in that Drake curse. You know what I mean? Re- <laughs> Steve, Steve Rolls doesn't believe in I know, curse, I know. But I got to be honest with you, I don't want to take any risks. I got you. I got you. Tell us about your fighter there. He's a, he's a real talented guy. He's yeah. a good fighter. He's a solid professional. Works his ass off. Good mm-hmm. guy. A good person. He's mm-hmm. a human being. Um, he was a great amateur in, Can- in Canada. Mm-hmm. Um, started his pro career late, undefeated as a pro. Mm-hmm. Has has stepped up to some good challenges and, and won. Mm-hmm. Um, never been in there with a Triple G kind of guy. Yeah. I understand why he's such a big underdog. Yeah. I know why people are doubting him. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, I'm bringing a real fighter Saturday night. It's going to be a real fight. How does he prepare for, without sharing too much, how does he prepare for a man who has defended his belt 20 times? You know, he's, he, I'll tell you, he's... When he couldn't get the biggest fights, mm-hmm. he made an effort to go out there himself and get in the ring and spar and do work with some of the top guys in boxing. Like you mentioned, Adonis Billy Stevenson, Joe Saunders, David Adonis Lemieux. Stevenson, David Lemieux. Yeah. He's been in the ring with those guys a number of times. Yeah. He, you know, he, he's not going to be overwhelmed. Gotcha. And um, look, he's getting in there with an all-time great. So, you know, he could be easy. Mm-hmm. But I'm expecting a fight, and the fans should expect a fight. And the fans are a lot better off with a guy that's never tasted defeat, mm-hmm. that you may not have heard of, than with a guy that's been in there three or four times and failed mm. at the highest level. Steve hasn't had this kind of opportunity, mm. but he's exactly the kind of guy I expect to rise to this opportunity. Brooklyn. Now, he's wait, one more before you go, he's, has he worked with Jonathan Banks when he was in a crowd gym with Emmanuel Sue? No, he, Jonathan has seen him fight. Gotcha. Well, I want to tell you something. I think, I think Triple G knows he's not in with a walkover. Yeah. But I don't think... You're not going to see Triple G looking past the guy. We're going to have the best Triple G on mm-hmm. Saturday night. And that could be a real problem. But you know what? I mean, I don't think my guy's overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's out of place. I, I, I don't think he's getting an opportunity he doesn't deserve. Mm-hmm. And I don't think he's incapable. Mm-hmm. I think he's going to be a real fight for for Gennady. Mm-hmm. And then on Saturday night, June 8th, the Zone USA, Madison Square Garden. Um, I'm not going to predict the outcome, gotcha. but I am going to predict that the fans are going to see good boxing. L- last but not least, I know you got to go. Your thoughts on last week with Joshua Ruiz? Man, I got to ask you that. <laughs> all is possible. Man. Yeah, all is possible. Yeah. Um, Andy Legrate executed a, a great plan and a mm-hmm. great fight. Honestly, Triple G. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Joshua, Anthony, AJ. Uh, I, I didn't think AJ looked like himself mm-hmm. the whole fight, but okay. that's not an excuse because. Maybe part of it was Andy made him not look like himself. Okay. Um, do you think it has lot. something to do with being in New York, fighting in New York for the I first time? I have no idea. Yeah. But, 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 but look, he, you know, we're going to find out a lot. He exercised that rematch Yes, clause, he did. Yes, he did. And now we're going to find out a lot when that fight gets run again. Okay. Because I'll tell you this, man. It wasn't a lucky punch. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a lucky... It, it was a breakdown. It was <laughs> he systemically mm-hmm. beat down AJ, mm-hmm. and the better man won. Yes. And if you watch that fight the other night, you can watch it all as many times as you want. You know, the, the the better fighter in the ring was not Anthony Joshua. The better mm-hmm. fighter in the ring was Andy Ruiz. Was Andy Ruiz, and, and um, could make for a very interesting rematch on the zone. I'm looking forward to it. In your mind, in your heart, in your boxing knowledge. Who's the best heavyweight right now on the planet? Deontay Wilder is the most dangerous heavyweight on the planet. I think the best heavyweight on the planet. I, I'll tell you what, man. You saw the first fight with, with Deontay mm-hmm. and Fury, so I'm not going to tell you Fury's not. Look, you've got two guys on a plane, standing alone on a mm-hmm. plane. And, and those two guys are Deontay and, and, and Fury. Mm-hmm. And it looks like we're going to get that fight again. Mm-hmm. Though i got to tell you something, man. People were looking past Andy Ruiz. Look mm-hmm. what happened. Yeah. Deontay and everybody around... Can't look past Andy Ruiz. No, no, they can't look past Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz. Got you. I mean, Luis Ortiz had Deontay hurt the first time. Mm-hmm. Deontay's got to focus on Luis Ortiz and worry about everything else later. All right. Thanks, Lord. Appreciate All your right. time.